Welcome into the Extra Point presented by Corner Pub and Brentwood on 710 Old Hickory Boulevard for Nashville's best meat and three craft beers and more. The neighborhood meets at the corner. And Zach, the Titans are currently on a four-game win streak. But what does it mean to you? Well, when was the last time that happened? Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long, long time. Yes. I think that it means a lot. I mean, three out of their four wins are at home. That's something that they have been unable to do in the previous years. I think that this team is rolling right now. I know that the wins have been ugly, okay? I will give you that. But the fact that they're finishing games, I think, is a telling sign. And I think it's grooming them for the playoffs. Because at the end of the, the Bengals game this past week, they got the job done on the final drive. Right. That was an amazing drive through the length of the field that was closed out by a touchdown, something that they needed. I think this represents what the Titans have become. They are winners at the end of the game instead of losers, and we've been known for the Titans to be losers for a long, long time. Yeah, 6-0 and in the last season and a half in games decided by three points or fewer. So the Titans are finding a way to win close games. That's important in the NFL because most games come down to about one touchdown. But for me, the four-game winning streak is – what we should have expected from this Titans team, especially these four games. You get the Colts at home uh, on Monday Night Football. That was a game that everybody called a must-win before the season started. Then you get three straight AFC North opponents, starting with the Browns. Then you've got the Ravens and the Bengals all in a row with a bye week in between. I think we all expected these four games to be wins for the Tennessee Titans. So for me... Yeah, it's good that they've won those games and they've allowed that to play out that way, but I'm not getting overly excited about the Titans winning four games in a row because, honestly, it should have been five in a row because that Dolphins game, even without Marcus Mariota, yeah. they had a chance to win that one even though that, it was really ugly. I get That's that. That's a reach. But, but still, four wins in a row is a good deal for this franchise, but it was also expected to beat these four opponents that they have. Now a test is they go on the road back-to-back -back weeks in Pittsburgh – in Indy, can they maintain as they look to the side of them and they see Jacksonville with an easy schedule? That will justify the Tennessee Titans season. It starts on Thursday night with a massive test against a really, really good football team yeah. and a really, really good franchise in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, we have plenty of time to talk about that game. Thursday night, Titans at Steelers. Thursday night football on NBC. Got the dual sky cam thing. We talked about that uh, last week. So, yeah, big test for the Titans on national TV again. They passed that first test on national TV against the Seahawks in week three. So we'll see if they can do it again. And that's today's Extra Point presented by Corner Pub in Brentwood on A to Z Sports